Hi, Kat here with Standing Stone Kennels, and this is Quest. She is eight weeks old, and we are going to be doing the first step in teaching her new behaviors, which is charging the clicker for clicker training. Thank you all for tuning in and watching. And like we mentioned when we were promoting the post that we are going to do a giveaway. We are going to give away a clicker and a bag of training treats. Um, we're gonna do a drawing 24 hours after this video and anybody that likes, shares, and comments will have an opportunity to win. So be sure to follow along and like, share, and comment for your chance to win. So today we're going to charge the clicker with Miss Quest. We use just a simple box clicker. It sounds like this. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. And we use um, food or treats as her reward. So the process of charging the clicker is that she needs to understand that when she hears that sound, she did something right, something good, and a reward is coming. So in these first stages of training, I'm gonna set her down. She's not gonna have to do any specific behavior. She's just going to hear the sound and then get the reward so that we can build a positive association between that noise and that something good is coming so that when she does start exhibiting behaviors that we'll be looking for, I can mark that with the clicker and then she knows a reward's coming. One thing we've noticed is that she is a little bit slow about eating her meals. Um, so this process um, might look a little bit different than some of our other charging the clicker processes. So we're gonna start with her kibble, which is just her dog food. And if that goes too slow or she's not as interested in eating that, I have a couple backup plans um, with some other treat options that we will see what she is enjoying the most. But I'll get her attention. Quest, <laughs> just get her to come over to me. Good, so I've got her attention. Then I'm just gonna not reward her for anything like jumping up, but when she... <laughs> so it's click, then she gets that reward, which is her dog food. She's being real focused right now, which is great. And like I said, I'm not marking any specific behavior, but I am going to try and not accidentally mark something that I don't want her to be doing, like jumping up on me. Because anything that we continu continuously, repetitively mark would be something that she's conditioning herself to do. So right now this kibble is working great, which is good. If she jumps up on me, I'm just gonna help push her down and then do another rep. Push her down, which just shows she's excited and focused and interested in what we're doing, but I don't wanna reward her even um, non-intentionally for those behaviors because anything she's doing now, she would be conditioning herself to do. <laughs> conditioning herself to do, and we don't want to have her continue to jump up on us because that's just the behavior that will continue as she gets older. So she's really about jumping up on me for these treats. So I'm trying to take a little bit more focus away from my, my can of treats, <laughs> my cup of treats, um, because she's figured out where these treats are coming from and just give them out of my hand a little bit farther away from the cap, the cup. Good. So I'm anticipating that she's been doing some of the jumping, so I'm trying to prevent her from doing that again. So just kind of <laughs> anticipate she was gonna jump. I'm gonna stand up, see if that might help. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Distracted by something, cause she's a puppy. <whistles> Quest. Just get her back focused. attitude. Oh. 
<laughs> you just wait. Quest. Quest. Come on. So you saw that I marked over there and then she started wandering away. So that shows me that she's not quite to the point where she's associating the noise with the fact that a reward's coming. Um, what we like to see before we know that the clicker is fully charged is that when she hears that click, she perks up, she looks for the treat that's coming. That means she goes, she knows that that treat's coming. Whereas with this time I clicked and she just kept wandering off. If she had had a better association, knowing that that click meant a treat was coming, she would have ran right back to me for that. So um, just goes to show she's not quite there, which is completely fine. This is just her first session. She's getting distracted being a puppy. So I'm gonna call her back over here. <whistles> Quest. The camera and equipment is so much more interesting than the clicker right now. Good. And the more I talk and explain what's going on, the more she loses focus. So I just need to keep that in mind and try and keep her focused because we do try and keep these sessions fairly short. Good. And this is a great way to use your puppy's meal for their training. That's what we're doing here is we're using Quest's meal for her training. That way she doesn't have a full stomach and not be willing to work for the food afterwards. So I'm giving her a few kibbles at a time just because we do have her whole meal that we're working with. Getting a lot more focus than we were. So again, I'm trying to anticipate when she would potentially jump up towards me so that I can give her her reward or click and then give her her reward before that happens. Not every time am I quite good enough at anticipating that but I'm just not marking or rewarding it when it happens. So I'm gonna try and ignore her for a second. Let her wander off like she was doing so that I can see again, gauge her reaction to the click. We got a lot more focus though. She's like, you can't get me to be distracted right now. Oh. So still she heard that click, but just kept on running over to check out the camera. So we're still not quite there, which is completely fine. This charging the clicker might not happen in the first session. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. A lot more focus though, good girl. So I'm gonna try and walk her this way. So that time the click pulled her focus a little bit more. because I think when she's gotten distracted and has been leaving me to go this way, it's because she's going to check out Ethan and the camera, um, which is a lot more important to her at the moment than the clicker and the treats. But still we're not getting quite the response of click, perking her ears and turning directly towards me that I would say would show that she has a full understanding of that. Click means a reward's coming. Come on. Oh, you dropped that one. There it is. You 
dropped another one. Or maybe I dropped it, one of the two. There we go. There, she turned a little bit more, like got a little distracted, then heard the click and turned for the treat. <laughs> She's like, nope, come here, bust. There. So even there, she heard the click and she didn't turn and look directly for the treat. Quest. So we're gonna finish up, she's got a few more little handfuls. So we're gonna finish up this session and then we're gonna do another session with charging the clicker. Um, it might not necessarily be live since you've already seen this um, because it's something that we definitely wanna keep working on. So like I mentioned, we can use all of her meals for this so we can do her meals in the morning and her meals in the evening with charging the clicker until we see that association that I want. And that's going to be something that we need to see before we can move on to teaching behaviors with the clicker. I'm gonna give her a few handfuls here. There. Good. Were there any questions that popped up, Ethan? We do have one question from Leah says, hello, I have a question about the clicker. You may have explained this already, but I understand it is used so that the pup can associate it with a positive outcome. Is this something that you use long term or just for puppies training? So great question. So yes, the clicker is used to mark a behavior. Oh, we dropped a whole bunch of crumbs. And it's the same as when people say, good girl, yes, way to go, except it's the exact same every single time. So it makes it consistent. And the more consistent we can be in training, the faster that the dog or the puppy is going to learn. Now, <laughs> every time we teach a new behavior, so when we start to teach sit or recall or lay down or kennel, um, we will use the clicker to mark that behavior. And that's when we're using positive reinforcement and starting that process. Um, once we get a good understanding of, uh, or she has a good understanding of those behaviors using positive reinforcement, we'll be able to reinforce using the e-collar, um, and that will be negative reinforcement, which we've done in some previous videos, and we'll definitely get to those with Quest as well, um, but she's not quite there yet. So hopefully that answers your question, that yes, we continue to use the clicker um, throughout their training, um, anytime we're teaching new behaviors until they have a good understanding of that. Okay, well, if there's no other questions, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and su subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can follow along with Quest's training videos.